Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here back with another Shadow Gun Legends video guide. Now in this week's event, there's a mission that keeps coming back from Willow and she wants you to do two missions without taking any damage. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be so annoying. Because I remember back then I did make a video guide, but in the days you had different skill trees and I was going all the time with AM Bomb and Sentry Gun because Sentry Gun was so good for that. That you can just drop it all the time and just stay behind. It's going to protect you, take aggro, and also dealing damage. And you can take your time and wait for your skills to recharge. But nowadays with the new skill tree, it's impossible to use AM Bomb and Sentry Gun in the same build. So you kind of have to go with one or the other. So I did go with a Supercharger and AM Bomb this time. But yeah, AM Bomb is really good, but it's a slow cooldown. So you cannot just... Well, you can, but it's going to suck if you just wait for it to, like, recharge. And, uh, yeah. But a few tips, guys. And definitely, uh, starting with the build, all the resistance on your gear or your build, they won't matter here. Because you cannot take damage at all. So it doesn't matter how much. If you take any damage at all, it's over. So just go with the most damage instead and forget about explosion resistance. Forget about the melee resistance. Just go with all the damage you can get. And then it's going to be about taking your time because seriously, don't rush it. If you get to a door and there's enemies, you need to have a way out, like something to take cover or just something to move away and go from left to right. You don't want to be stuck in a narrow corridor because you won't be able to dodge the projectiles. So here you see uh, there's a door there and I will use it a lot. Let's just peek because this guy is really annoying. Shielders... Uh, and some other enemies, they just they just fire a lot, and uh, it's tough to predict exactly where the projectiles are, are going to go. So you need a way to just uh, dodge and strafe left and right just to avoid the projectile. So yeah, it's going to be maybe longer than usual, but you, you cannot take damage. And if you play for three minutes and you get to the end of the level, and you take one hit of damage, it's over. You just ruined it. So... Yeah, don't rush it, guys. So this type of mission, uh, find the high-value target, is pretty good for that. There's not that many enemies. I used to really like also the breeder missions. But pretty much, guys, any mission on the first planet will do. And uh, yeah, because first planet missions, they are easier. The enemies are easier. You won't see a bunch of decimators. And you see maybe less, less elites. If you go to second and third planet, well, you're just asking for for more trouble. Now, one more tip is don't be afraid to back out. Like, like don't be afraid to run away from a fight if there's too many enemies. Instead of taking a chance or taking stupid risk, just run away and some of them will follow you. And you can just wait and pick them off one by one. Another thing I should have think about is maybe go with the sniper as a secondary because... You're going to have more success in the long range battles. And I did realize on my first mission, I would have been better with a sniper in a few spots at least. And the sniper will do a lot of damage with supercharge. It's going to help you get rid of the big ones much faster. But seriously, guys, if you want the real easy way to get these missions done, try to find the Marines missions when you have to join the Marine squad. Again, on the first planet, and the one I had is the, the new geostation uh, layout. Well, seriously, dude, it's just the easiest thing ever. I, I didn't really go for that at the start, but then I just realized, like, the Marines will draw aggro, right? So... Anything that will come for you, if if there's Marines between you and the Torment, the Torment will go for the Marines instead. So if you just back out and keep your distance. Like right now, I thought maybe I could just shoot the Chargers maybe. Anything that will shoot projectiles and not shoot the melee enemies, they will just stand there. They will stand there, they will hit the Marines, and they will not even come close to me. And then I decided to just stop shooting and not even shoot the, the charger and just see what happens. I mean, it's not a charger, but anyways, the, the ones that fire uh, rifles. And anyways, I said, like, let's just not shoot and see what they're going to do. 
and they just shoot at the marines so i say okay i'll take distance and see if they come for me because basically in these missions you don't even have to shoot anything you just have to wait for the timer to expire it's, i think it's two minutes or something so just stay there for two minutes and and wait and that's gonna be it so it takes a lot of skill a lot of uh agility and you, you need to be good with the controls you also need great reflexes because you want to be able to dodge if there's a bullet but there's no there's no danger actually i'm just trolling but you just stay there for two minutes and that's it guys so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video that was pretty much it and then when you go back to hub you just claim your reward and then keep claiming missions and they're gonna rotate it's gonna go back to uh like find the the elite and then it's gonna go back to that if you just keep rotating that mission it's gonna come again it's gonna come back and you can just do it the easy way if you fell on the other missions just finish them and then you're gonna get that one back so yeah that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video leave a comment below if you have a better way to do it but i think it's the easiest way to go and hope you guys enjoyed hit the like and don't forget to subscribe for more shadowgun legends Gameplay, news, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. what I'm talking about. Tag them and bag them.